despite its low population, Wyoming is home to some very breathtaking destinations. As a matter of fact, it is home to some of the world's greatest wilderness areas, as well as untamed landscapes, a wealth of tribal folklore, rodeos, ranches, and cowboy towns. The mountainous state justifiably takes pride in its Wild West roots. It's easy to see that cowboy culture is flourishing in Wyoming. Whether one is taking in a bronco-busting rodeo, enjoying a chuck wagon dinner, or dancing the night away to country music in a local dance hall. Welcome back to Travel Thoughts. For today's video, we bring you the 10 best places to visit in Wyoming. Number 10, Hot Springs State Park. Hot Springs State Park is home to the largest hot spring in the Americas. Steaming hot water from the Big Spring, which is located near the appropriately named town of Thermopolis, is used to serve a number of spa resorts and water parks. The state bathhouse is publicly maintained and available for use. For the first 20 minutes of their visit, guests can swim in either an indoor or outdoor pool at no cost. Locals love the Star Plunge Water Park because it has so many fun things to do in the water, like open and closed twisting water slides, swimming pools, and hot tubs that bubble. A herd of about 25 bison calls the park home as well. Here are things to do at Hot Springs State Park. Join a park ranger for a guided tour. Become a junior ranger. Stroll along the Grand Promenade. Take a bath. Hike or dive to the Hot Springs Mountain Tower. Number nine, Fossil Butte National Monument. What is currently a high desert in the southwestern region of Wyoming was once covered by three enormous lakes millions of years ago. This tiny lake, now known as Fossil Lake, has turned out to be a veritable fossil fish, animal, and plant treasure chest. The Fossil Butte National Monument is a butte that rises 1,000 feet, 300 meters above the ancient lake bed, and is located about 15 miles, 24 kilometers west of the city of Kemmer. During the summer, tourists can go up to the top of the butte with paleontologists as they look for fossils, which are plentiful there. At the monument's visitor center, you can see more than 300 fossils that were found in the area. Here are things to do at Fossil Butte. Visit the fossil exhibits. Ranger programs at Fossil Butte. Fossil Butte Scenic Drive. Hiking at Fossil Butte Historic Quarry Trail. Hiking at Fossil Butte Nature Trail. Number eight, Bighorn Canyon. The Bighorn Canyon National Recreation Area has been around for a long time because the Yellowtail Dam was built on the Bighorn River in Montana in the 1960s. A big part of the dam's reservoir, which goes 71 miles, 114 kilometers upstream into Wyoming, is part of the Crow Indian Reservation. Bighorn Lake is a picturesque reservoir where boating and water sports can be enjoyed against a backdrop of towering canyon walls. Pryor Mountain National Wild Horse Range borders the Wyoming side of the park, giving visitors an opportunity to spot wild horses galloping along the rim of the canyon. Here are things to do at Bighorn Canyon. Bicycling, boating, Camping, fishing, hiking. Number seven, Cody. 
Cody is a fantastic site to learn about the history of the cowboy state and its iconic cowboys. Buffalo Bill Cody, a famous Wild West showman, built the community near Yellowstone in 1887. The Buffalo Bill Center is in downtown Cody. It has five Western-themed museums and interesting exhibits, such as things from William F. Cody's Interesting Life. More than 25 Western buildings have been lovingly renovated to form Old Trail Town, another must-see. Cody hosts rodeos nearly every night throughout the summer, earning it the nickname Rodeo Capital of the World. Here are things to do at Cody. Take a Cody trolley tour. Watch a Wild West gunfight. Learn the history at Buffalo Bill Center of the West. Get closer to Indian tribes culture at Plains Indian Museum. Practice your shooting skills at Cody Firearms Experience. Number six, Devil's Tower. Devil's Tower is the eroded remnant of an old volcano that rises 1,267 feet, 386 meters above its surroundings. President Theodore Roosevelt designated this area as a national monument in 1906. It is situated in the Black Hills of Crook County, northeastern Wyoming. The mountain shot to fame in 1977 when it was used in Steven Spielberg's award-winning science fiction film Close Encounters of the Third Kind as the setting for the alien-human meeting. It is now one of Wyoming's most visited attractions. Here are things to do at Devil's Tower. Climbing. Hiking the less traveled trails. Night sky viewing. Join ranger programs. We aim to bring you the top 10 best places to visit in every state. If you like the video so far, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Number five, Flaming Gorge Recreation Area. The Flaming Gorge Reservoir, which was created when a dam was constructed on the Green River in 1958, is the main draw to this national recreation area that straddles the state lines of Utah and Wyoming. There are five full-service marinas on the man-made lake, which makes it a great place for boating, fishing, and other water sports on vacation. There are more than 160 kilometers, 100 miles of trails, so you may go hiking, mountain biking, or horseback riding. Flaming Gorge, so named for the canyon's fiery red cliffs that tower over the Green River, is at its most beautiful before and after the sun rises and sets. Here are things to do at Flaming Gorge Recreation Area. Dinosaur Discovery. Green River. Dam Tour. Fishing. Hiking. Number four, Grand Targhee Ski Resort. Grand Targhee Ski Resort in Wyoming is a popular destination for skiers and snowboarders who want to avoid long ticket lines and high ticket fees. This family-friendly resort on the western slopes of the Tetons is about 90 minutes away from the more well-known Jackson Hole Mountain Resort and offers similar amenities for a fraction of the price. Here, you can expect an amazing 500 inches or more of light, fluffy powder each year. And you can access the 2,270-foot vertical drop by five lifts. More than 70% of the routes here are rated as appropriate for intermediate skiers, but there are trails for skiers of all skill levels. There are also snowshoeing and Nordic routes, in addition to two terrain parks. Private snow cat skiing and Wyoming's only cat skiing are accessible to anyone who wants to explore Wyoming's backcountry in style. 
Grand Targhee has one of the lowest ratios of skiers to untracked powder acres in the country. If you're willing to ski in the trees, the occasional lack of visibility won't stop you. One advantage of visiting here is the availability of reasonably priced lodging right on the slopes. The summer months are also very busy. Relax with a ride on the chairlift. Take in a concert. Hit the trails on your bike and explore the town's restaurants and stores. No matter the time of year, Grand Targhee is a fantastic place to spend time in the mountains with loved ones. Here are things to do at Grand Targhee Ski Resort. Skiing and snowboarding. Guided ski tours. Snowcat skiing and boarding. Nordic skiing. Fat biking. Number three. Bridger Teton National Forest. Bridger Teton National Forest is a stunning wilderness area in western Wyoming that spans over 3.4 million acres of rough mountain terrain. The Bridger Wilderness in the Wind River Mountains has the Green River's headwaters, some of the world's largest glaciers, and Wyoming's highest point, Gannett Peak. It is one of three wilderness areas contained within the forest's boundaries. Wildlife like grizzlies, wolves, and bison rely on the Teton Wilderness for survival, and the Grovant Wilderness protects some of the world's most interesting geological formations. Lower Slide Lake was formed when the Grovant Slide sliced down a mountainside in 1925. Today, traces of the slide are still visible. Miles of paths crisscross the area, making it ideal for a variety of outdoor pursuits like hiking, hunting, fishing, ski touring, and mountaineering. Here are things to do at Bridger Teton National Forest. Cache Creek Mountain Bike Trails. Stinking Springs Bend in Hoback River. Sneak River Valley Henry's Road Bypass. Teton Pass. Jackson Hole Community Pathway Summit, Hoback Canyon State Historic Marker. Number two, Grand Teton National Park. Established in 1929, the Grand Teton National Park is well recognized for its spectacular mountain panoramas, its glistening alpine lakes, and its plentiful wildlife. The rocky spine of the Tetons rises more than a mile above the Snake River Valley and can be seen from as far away as Yellowstone National Park and as close as the city of Jackson. Moose, bison, and elk are just some of the species that call this park home, and they live alongside glistening lakes at the park's base. With over 250 miles, 400 kilometers of trails, and hundreds of campsites, motels, and lodges, vacationers can pick and choose from a wide variety of outdoor pursuits and lodging options. Here are things to do at Grand Teton National Park. Hiking at Hidden Falls and Inspiration Point Trail. See wildlife in Grand Teton. 42-mile scenic drive, Jenny Lake Scenic Drive, Drive Signal Mountain Summit Road. Number one, Yellowstone National Park. The first national park in the country is also one of the most beautiful places in the world, having been shaped by both volcanic eruptions and glacial glaciers. Geysers are created when underground hot water rises to the surface. Yellowstone's high plateau provides the drainage for many rivers and waterfalls. Yellowstone is home to the biggest herd of bison in the United States, as well as elk, bighorn sheep, grizzly bears, and wolves. 
Because Yellowstone National Park is so popular, visitors need to plan ahead if they want to book hotels or campsites. Yellowstone is more than just a national park. It draws more than 3 million tourists annually. We should protect it as if it were our most precious possession. Here are things to do at Yellowstone National Park. See Old Faithful Geyser. See Upper Geyser Basin. Enjoy Grand Prismatic Spring. Visit Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. Drive to Yellowstone Grand Loop Road. And that's all for today. Which of these places would you like to visit next? And if you've already visited some of the places, how was your experience? Let us know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoy this video. If you enjoy similar stuff, check out my other videos. And if you like it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video.